right now there's uh, actually a uh, by the way what's up guys um, right now there's a big national news story going on in Japan that's happening uh, unfolding as we speak right now in Wakayama um, so I'm gonna go huge it's a huge thing and uh, I mean I'm uh, watching the news and just refreshing Google to see like what's happening next but anyways there's a there's a murder in Wakayama with a gun no doubt so, so there's murders there's there's been a couple of murders here before uh, there's been probably three or four since I've lived here um, one guy uh, one was just a weird like stay at home never leave your room type of guy he went out with a sword or a knife and stabbed a kid a few times and he died and that was really sad um, another one was a, a lady in her 40s uh, strangled her uh, her her father which is uh, I don't know what that was all about and it's just like yeah whatever just like people it happens even though Japan is a safe even though Japan is a safe country like it happens from time to time yeah so, um, maybe it was two days ago, uh, there was a guy who, who, I think he was working at this company. Um, I don't know if he worked there, but I know that his father was like the president of the company. And uh, he pulled out a pistol and he shot through four people uh, in the stomach and the legs. And he killed one guy, uh, one guy is unconscious just and two are seriously injured so right now he is holding himself in a uh so basically he got away nobody knew what uh nobody knew what his deal was nobody knew where he went and um last night one of the guys who worked at the company saw him riding a bicycle and they called the police and he shot the gun at the police and finally he's uh he's holding himself up in a mansion or an apartment building and that's where we are headed just uh yeah I'm not, we're not gonna see the murderer or anything but i just kind of want to see the police line it's kind of big news and the reason why it's big news is because you know you don't really see guns in wakayama or even in japan really right so obviously everybody it's pretty obvious to me I'm not like a real journalist, so I can say what I think without getting uh, butt raped by. It's definitely Yakuza stuff, because first of all, if you wanted to murder, he's uh, he's he was arrested for like I think meth or cocaine. He was arrested for meth. Oh, fire truck. He was arrested for meth or cocaine, and then he got on bail. And then on, on the day that he was supposed to go back to jail, he pulled this murdering thing, this murdering stunt. I don't know what it is. Um, and I have suspicions that the whole construction company, because that's the office that he, the office that he murdered the people in was a construction company. Um, my wife was telling me that due to the way that they spelled the company name, um, you know, it's the place is called Wadai Shogyo. Shogyo, I think. It's a construction company, but the way the kanji that they use for the name is kind of indicative that it's a yakuza business. But honestly, I don't I don't really know exactly where this is. I I put in the neighborhood in my phone, and I think it's taken me there, but I'm not quite sure. Traffic is getting thin, though. Excuse me. Yawning guy. And obviously this is not really recommended because there's a guy with a gun and he's already shot at some people, but I'm gonna take my chances. Okay, there's some police right there. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. Well, that's the police line. That must be the neighborhood where he is held up.
So yeah, if you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this video tonight, so it's current. So you can, uh, you can look on the news. But there's a lot of English sites if you're curious what's going on over here. There's a lot of English sites. Just type in Wakayama shooting into Google, uh, into Google, and a bunch of stuff will come up. And it's being updated regularly. By the time you, by the time I get home and edit this, the guy will probably have already bl blown his brains out. But um, yeah, I guess. Uh, Wakayama is coming on up in the world. Way to go, Wakayama. So I just got home from my ride, and now an ambulance arrived to the scene, and there's a blue tarp. Do they know? Do they say what the blue tarp is for? I think they are hiding the suspect. Ah, uh, so do you think he's not, he's not he's not dead? Ah, uh, no. But but, but he he's going shot. but he's going to the ambulance, so he must have been shot. That cop is gonna be a hero. You know what I mean? But finally, though. I know, in America, they would have just I know. blew his head off. But also, even though he... Oh, he, 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 he shot himself. I knew it. I knew he was going to. He's not a, He's not dead, though. Probably not. Good. This is kind of... He, he, he shot his tummy. He shot... What? Are, like, seppuku. Harakiri with a gun. Monday at Shiria in Wakayama Prefecture at a construction company, four men were shot and a 45-year-old at Jusuke Ishiyama died. One employee is in serious critical condition and two have been severely injured. It was found that the suspect was Yasuhide Mizuhata, 45 years old, an arrest warrant had been issued, and shortly past 9 p.m., he was seen near the office. He shot four gunshots at a police car, and from around 1 a.m., he was standing off at uh, the aisle corridor of an apartment house nearby. At around 6.40 p.m., uh, the police detained the suspect. According to the police, Mizabata shot himself in the stomach. The details are unknown. Police say uh, that the suspect will be taken to hospital where the questioning will take place. Now we have a live report.